Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is, oh that just turned over there, okay. We have trust, so this is the Angel Answer card today. We have trust. This is for October the 17th, 2019, Thursday the 17th of October, and this is for all signs. So, choose what resonates with you. We have trust here. You're being asked to trust yourself, trust the situation will improve, trust that when you take action, things will start moving maybe. Trust some advice as well. Trust that the universe is guiding you, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm just pulling a reading card. What do we have, please? What's the message? Angel splits, guys. There's too many there. There's too many there. Trust because you're being given blessings. This is universal blessings. Isn't that beautiful? Trust things are going to get better for some of you because I feel that some of you are being guided, protected. Powerful message. Okay. What do we have cards? Angel Spirits Guides. This is for all signs for Thursday the 17th of October 2019. Got the Ace of Wands. Just straighten those up. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I've got the Magician. Seven of Swords. Let me get another one for the Seven of Swords, please. Can I have another one? Just one more card, thank you. Just one card. Thank you. Oh my goodness, the film. <laughs> These cards are really powerful today. There's too many there. Five of Wands. Let me just have one more card. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Bottom of the deck. Have you seen that? The sun. Wow. Okay. You are absolutely being blessed. There are blessings here, and it is about trusting you, trusting God, the universe, the divine. Whatever you believe. Whatever you believe. Um. Trust yourself as well, because there is opportunity here. There is security, there's safety here. There is financial reward here as well. There's progression in career too. Okay. Let me start with these cards here. We've got the Five of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and also the Three of Wands as well. So this card, the Three of, Pen three of Wands, is about taking action. I feel for some of you, you're being told, uh, very much tying in with these blessings here. The Six of Pentacles is about being open to give and receive. It can be as people help you through life, you help them, you be there for them as they're there for you. It can be to do with financial reward as well. Um, this can be to do with windfall sometimes too. But there's a gift here of some kind that the universe is trying to give you. This is the young Hierophant here. He is a seen version of the unseen, God, the divine, the universe, trying to give you something. Now, he may well be telling you to trust yourself. He may well be telling you now is the time to be open to receive, 
Don't close yourself off to it. Because I feel for some of you, there's opportunity here. There's value here, whatever value means to you. It can be monetary value. It can link to money and career. It can also be, um, be open to receive something that you value. So it could be other people, pe people that you value, wisdom that you value, be open to listening, um, all that kind of thing as well. It can be self-value as well, self-esteem powerful message so there is a message here of be open to receive and it comes on the back and i think certainly what you're being told to do is turn your back on any situation that is bringing you down the five of wands can be where it can be about competition sometimes when we're competing in the workplace when we're competing for jobs and careers and all that kind of thing it can talk about one-upmanship you know you find it in the corporate business world as well everybody wanting to get ahead that kind of energy that can be the five oh, sorry the five of wands it can also be about petty conflict but you see this this is a five and whatever this is it is about insecurity moving on from a place that has been insecure that has been unstable that has unsettled you in some way to turning your back on a situation and taking action and refocusing on your path. The emperor here, this is the young emperor, this is the sun in Aries. This is the very beginnings of him taking the initiative, realizing his power, his potential to bring positive change to his life. The three in tarot is all about the very beginnings of manifestation, he is the three. So if there's positive change to be had when you really channel your power, when you really take action, there is potential. And you can see here, there are ships on the horizon. There's the promise of success. It's not quite there yet, but there is a real promise of success. This is the road to success, whatever success means to you. The one's energy can be linked to career, uh, business, um, even new business ventures, starting something new at the very beginnings of starting something new as well. Can be new jobs, can be also new business ventures too. Um, can also be something that you're just really really passionate about that you're putting all your energy into making happen either way there's real promise with that three of ones energy because he's not focusing on this anymore he's not focusing on this kind of like the crowd people interfering everybody having their say things distracting him he is refocusing on his path and i think that's what you're being asked to do in order to receive We have the Seven of Swords with the Fool and we have the Ten of Pentacles here. I'm just going to put that down for a moment. The Seven of Swords, I feel, sometimes this can be deception in your external life. I'm feeling in this reading it's more about self-sabotage, how we hold ourselves back, how we put up blocks, how we sometimes allow things, you know, sometimes our internal world to just hold us back. Uh, from wonderful new beginnings, wonderful new levels, wonderful new phases in our life. Um, and you're being asked to move on from this now. Whatever this Seven of Swords is, it is about seeing the truth. This is lack of truth. This is somebody who is deceiving themselves in some way, self-sabotaging in some way. Um, it is about seeing the truth in order to move forward to that new beginning. The Fool is somebody who is very passionate, who is a rebel energy. There is a kind of feeling with the Fool, now is the time to just take that leap of faith, to go for something, to take a chance. Uh, this is somebody who will carve out their own path. It is a card of Uranus. Uranus is that rebel energy, even revolutionary energy, revolutionizing your life in some way. And now is the time, you've got the magician here, you've got this three of, of wands here, which is very powerful. Both of those cards are about the beginnings of manifestation, something new, transformation. So it is about just going for something, um, embracing the new, and you see his arms are completely open. Just be open to receive, very much like that Six of Pentacles message. Because here's the thing, the sun is here and the sun is here. You're being guided. The sun in tarot 
is divine energy. You're being guided. And you're being guided towards success. Whatever you're starting, whatever you're working towards, there's success at the end of it. Now, pentacles energy can link to the stability and structure in our lives, our homes, our property, real estate, can be our money, our career, can also be linked to our own self-esteem, self-worth, can also be linked to people that we value in our lives, so relationships of some kind. Um, and this is, you know, relationships that bring solidity into our lives. The Ten of Pentacles is about taking the steps I feel, certainly on the money and career front, because I kind of feel this is something that you're really passionate, that you're really challenging, um, that you're really, sorry, that you're really putting your hope, your heart, mind and soul into bringing it about, that when you really focus on your path, you have the opportunity to bring real success into your life. And it's about taking a chance. It's about taking that leap of faith. It is about embracing the new. Don't self-sabotage. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah. This is real success. The 10 is the height of the minor arcana, apart from the court cards in it. So, yeah, I just feel for some of you that there is real achievement to be made. Real achievement to be made when you start taking the steps towards embracing the, the new, embracing your path forward. We have the Magician and we have the Ace of Wands. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. So the Magician, both of these cards are the first step in a way. We've got the Fool as well. And remember with the Fool, anything's possible. And the magician is when you take that first step to believe anything is possible. You have the power to make anything possible. Your hopes, dreams and wishes are reality. That's what the magician tells you. You can make anything possible. You have that power within you and around you, that divine energy uh, to connect to, as well as your earthly skills and experience to bring about positive transformation and change. But first, you have to believe. You have to understand that you have that power, you have that gift. And once you understand that you can transform your situation for the better, that's when the magician does the big reveal. That's when you're ready to show the world what you're made of. This is taking that first step to bring in about positive change. There are a lot of first steps here, first steps to success. And I feel for some of you, it is using your magic using your universal magic to really bring positive change. Such a powerful message. And the Ace of, of Wands is, because when you do, that's when opportunity comes into your life. Opportunity can, that can bring long-term success. And remember, the Pentacles energy is very much about solidity, um, making us safe, making us feel secure. Uh, setting us up for the long term. It's something solid that's not going to disappear in a few months. And this opportunity is very much connected with that. Now, the one's energy can be connected with business and career, so job offers, promotions, uh, new business ventures, starting something new, can be to do with new projects or something that you're just really passionate about, something that you really want to bring into your life. You see, it's sprouting, it's sprouting, it's already beginning to grow. Um, it is saying that if you really channel your passions, if you really grab hold of this opportunity, if you use your magic, your magic, to bring about positive change in your life, that's when opportunity can come into your life. And this wand is the very beginnings of success. And if you keep going with it, if you make it grow, if you make it expand, if you make it flourish, you see that castle in the distance, long-term success is promised to you, some of you. So it is about channeling your passions, taking action. Now is the time to just go for it. Now is the time to take that leap of faith and trust, trust that things will work out like the fool. Because you are being guided, this is divine energy shining on you. And I feel some of you, when you do come through, overcome that Seven of Swords energy, the, the, the wall can 
represent our own blocks, our own limitations, our own boundaries that we place on ourselves. And this child and this horse are coming through the other side of that wall and they're finding their natural power. This is very much a card of natural solar power, divine power, our own power, um, our own magic in some respects, realizing that we can bring success into our lives. This is a card of, of monetary success. This is a card of everything becoming clear. It's also a card of good news, celebration, joy and happiness. The sun is shining on you. Certainly for some of you, money and career, this looks really positive. So it is time to take action because you're being blessed. You're being blessed. And when the magician appears, it is very much to say, the time is now, the time is now. Time to believe. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.